Let's say you want to make this character jump out of the frame. So if you want to make it realistic, well, you'd have to animate every part of the body. So first you'd have to animate it by swinging backwards and then forwards because our character wants to gain momentum before jumping out of the frame. So first you'd have to take the body and convert the path to Bezier path and then put a keyframe here, then go a couple of frames forward and then take these keyframes, move them here in order for the character to swing backwards and then you'd have to take maybe this point and make it look like this no, something like this and then you'd have to take this other point and modify it like this and so on and so forth and then you'd have to go a couple of frames forward again and then animate it forward and then you'd have to go and animate the eyes and also the mouth so this will take quite some time and we are lazy we don't want to do that no 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 mm -mm. Mm -mm. no 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 we have another option which is a way better option so let me undo this okay and you can see i have this uh these effects right here but don't get intimidated by this uh these are just part of the shade trower plugin for the uh, for the shade obviously if i disable them you can see the shade right there anyway so i have this cc band effect let me enable this one and also show the keyframes and you can see here that we have just a couple of keyframes first one is neutral and then we animated the band property right we made it minus 24 because we want our character to swing backwards and then forwards and then backwards and then forwards again and backwards forwards and then here all the way to the to the bottom and then jump out of the frame let me zoom out you know something like this and here i've also animated the start and the end properties so this is the start property and also the end property and obviously we want these two points to move along with our character so i animated those to go from left to right and also the position i've animated the position from left to right so it's pretty simple right and you can see that with just couple of keyframes we made a really good animation because if i go here to the final composition i have my character i have a red background then i have a grunge texture and then i have two layers for film overlays and then at the top i also have a posterize time effect where i changed the frame rate to 12 because you know we want our character to to be more realistic and to look like it's it's more manual made like in the old times and also i almost forgot about this we also have this shadow right here and it looks very nice and it's pretty simple to to accomplish something like this what's up with that mask all right so for the shadow i've just created a drop shadow effect and then i've duplicated it six times and you can see here that for the first one I have the distance to 8 and the softness to 5 and for the other ones I've just increased the distance and the softness so 18, 15, then 38, 35, 63, 45, 88, 55, 144, 65 and for the last one 201 and 75 so this is a cool trick to create really good shadows so this is our animation I think it looks pretty good taking in consideration that uh, we've created this with only a couple of keyframes. And if you want to download the project files or see the tutorial step by step, you can visit this Patreon post. This is part of the new series called After Effects Essentials, where I explain in depth how you can take advantage of the basic features of After Effects and use those effects to create really good animations. We don't have to download every plugin and every script out there. You just have to learn how to use the inbuilt effects that Adobe offers. 
and don't worry this tutorial is free because patreon just rolled out the free trial option so you can sign up for the seven days free trial read the tutorial download the project files and then if you're not interested in the next posts from this series you can just cancel no strings attached that's all for today thanks for watching see you in the next one